in this video i'll talk about uh, what is non linear regression models we have heard about the linear regression models we have discussed a lot of models related to the linear regressions in this channel and uh, i i i thought it's time to uh, uh, discuss uh, the uh, non linear regression models and uh, this is a brief introduction to this um, well <coughs> to define uh, a, a non-linear regression model uh, a regression model is called uh, non-linear if the derivative of the model depends on one or more parameters if you are familiar with derivative it is fine if you are not familiar with derivative then it will be a bit difficult to understand but uh, yeah you should go through uh, what is uh, derivative uh, to understand uh, the definition of uh, not nonlinear regression model well to give an, a, an example here um, I have three models okay y equal to a plus bx first model second one is y equal to a plus bx plus cx square and the third one is y equal to a plus b squared x so what the definition says well the definition says that if you divide uh, sorry if you take the derivative of the uh, model dependent variable with respect to the uh, to one of the or one or more parameter and you found that at least in one case the derivative of the dependent variable depends on one or more parameters then that model is known as a non-linear regression model so let us take derivative of each of one of the uh, you know the regression model first we'll take this one okay if you take uh, the uh, dy by da that's derivative with respect to a what we get it is 1 so our derivative doesn't depend on uh, any parameter here if we take it uh, with respect to b we get x so there also the derivative of dependent variable doesn't depend on uh, any model parameter hence we say that this model is a linear model not a non-linear model the next one is a bit tricky one okay we have an x square term here so generally when we have a second degree polynomial case we always think that this is a non-linear model form well that's a misconception that's wrong totally um, if you go by the definition you take dy by da we get the same thing the uh, derivative doesn't depend on uh, the any of the parameter you take dy by d uh, b we, we what we get is x and when we take dy by dc we get x square so you take all the three derivative forms and in none of the case your derivative of dependent variable depends on the uh, model parameter any of the model parameter so even the second model is a linear regression model not a non-linear regression model remember having a square term or a cube term uh, of the independent variable doesn't make the model non-linear okay even though if you plot it it looks non-linear but by definition it's not a non-linear model so what is a non-linear model well the third equation the third linear uh, third uh, you know uh, equation that is there is a non-linear example why if you take derivative of dependent variable y with respect to a and b okay when you take with respect to a we just get it uh, it's just one so that's not a problem but if you take dy by db in this model you get 2b right and b is a parameter so the derivative with respect to b is now depending on one of, uh, one of the parameter so by definition this model 
is a non-linear regression model. Remember, this is a you know major confusion between uh, you know linear models with uh, with a square or cubic term uh, of the independent variable and uh, a model with uh, uh, with with a uh, higher degree of parameter so uh, this is a confusion so uh, or the rule of thumb is that we call a model nonlinear only when it's a nonlinear by parameter not nonlinear by independent variable okay so we have a square term of independent variable here hence it's not a nonlinear model but here we have a square term of the uh, parameter hence it's a nonlinear model. so we need a higher degree parameter not a higher degree independent variable for a model to be called nonlinear model so what about logistic regression model is that a, a linear model or a nonlinear model what is the form of a logistic regression model logarithm of p by 1 minus p equal to a plus bx and so on you can have n number of independent variables well if you uh, you know change it to in the exponential form take log into right hand side and then do a bit of a mathematics to come up with the p value and do uh, you know take uh, dp by db okay you do it by yourself you will also find that the derivative of uh, uh, p with respect to b which is a parameter here is going to depend on b as well hence logistic regression is also a non-linear model well as i said there is a distinction that should be made between non-linear model and curvy linear models in the second example that we saw um, y equal to a plus bx plus cx square it's a curvy linear model okay when you plot this model you will get a graph like this that you can see here okay so this graph looks like it's a non-linear case but it actually known as curvy linear model okay so even though it looks non-linear it's a curvy linear model okay by definition uh, of non-linear regression so what is the speciality of non-linear regression because uh, even though the graph is taking a quadratic form or a non-linear form it still is a linear regression if uh, the parameters are all linear in nature so what is the speciality of non-linear regression why do we have such a very stringent definition of this well it's about the estimation the model estimation okay the model estimation is different in non-linear case than the linear case okay we cannot do this simple uh, you know the uh, OLS uh, estimation of a non-linear uh, regression the way we do for linear regression so the ordinary square cannot be used in that case we need some modification on the ordinary least square method so uh, the estimation is tougher than the linear regression uh, estimation but it has its own advantage it is a bit time consuming it it, it, it will, take, will take a lot of computing power but it fits the data better in some way and sometimes it is uh, more helpful in trying uh, you know in, in uh, fitting a regression line to to the set of points it fits the data more but it has its own requirements you mean um, I mean what I mean by that is that it's not used every time I'll I'll talk about that where exactly it's used uh, let's learn first how the uh, estimation happened well estimation happened in an iterative process uh, you know we have a, a set of starting values for the parameters and we try to you know match it with the dependent variable and then we keep on changing the parameters value to make uh, the model 
uh, you know improve with each step and ensure that uh, we get the best fit to the uh, data so the algorithm uh, in the software uh, achieves the maximum improvement and if we find that there is no further improvement at some point of time then it just stops and we say that it, it, it converts and we have got a, a regression equation in place well <clears throat> why do we actually uh, need such a model sometimes uh, for the requirement purpose we actually need such a model in place because we don't know the functional forms so most of the cases uh, where we use um, the uh, nonlinear regression is where we don't know the functional form of the model okay we don't know whether it's going to be beta square or beta q or what we don't know first so that is one case where if you're not sure about the functional form uh, we go in for nonlinear kind of regression second thing is that if you are very sure of the functional form okay uh, probably uh, in the case of you might have seen uh, the uh, uh, decay process of a radioactive element uh, uh, the equation for decay uh, the radioactive decay is very well known to us okay so uh, you know that takes uh, some kind of a nonlinear form uh, if I presume uh, and there are also other biological uh, what I have heard I'm not a student of biology but uh, the growth of uh, bacteria or the microorganisms there is always uh, you know there is always a uh, equations that is always associated with uh, the growth of bacteria uh, in a place uh, which is well known to us uh, so the functional form of growth of bacteria or growth of virus uh, or radioactive decay these places uh, is very well known to us so in these type of scenarios we don't really go out for linear regression rather going for the non-linear regression any deviation from linearity will be taken care of by the non-linear uh, algorithm uh, more details will be uh, covered when we have sessions on uh, you know the hands-on session wherein I'll show you how to use uh, a non-linear uh, uh, regression model to fit uh, you know a, a certain kind of a data set uh, this is just a basic understanding of course I'll be covering more theory a little more mathematical form uh, you know while teaching the uh, the uh, hands-on session so for this session that is all for you hope you enjoy